If you're on a journey and you don't know exactly how to get to your intended destination, then you don't be surprised if you end up somewhere else or you fail to reach the destination. Well, that's kind of what I'm uh, going to talk about in this quick uh, video for our day two pursuit of JNCIA security. Just putting together a good training plan so that we can track our course of study along the way. All right, so sit back and enjoy, and I hope this gets us going in the right direction. Hey folks, welcome back. JNCIA security uh, day two video that I'm putting together. Uh, this one, uh, nothing technical yet, uh, but you want to course or map out your course of study in pursuit of that certification. You want to make sure you touch all the bases. What are those bases? Well, uh, let's remember that Juniper lets us know, uh, as well as Cisco and other vendors, they'll usually put out a blueprint of all the exam topics. So let's get in here. Let's go to training, certification tracks. Okay, let's click there. We are looking for JNCIA security right here. It's in the security family. It's the first one. All right, and so I'm just showing you what I would typically do when I'm pursuing a certification, just to get started. I'm gonna look at the recommended training. I think I already went over this in the first video, but let's we're gonna take it a step further. What I'll do is I'll usually go to the exam objectives and I will copy these right off the website and I'll put them in a notepad. I'll usually get the margins really skinny so I can put a lot in this file uh, you know, on each page, and I will paste those in here. Now, I don't like the way that pasted. Uh, if you right-click in Microsoft Word and merge formatting, keep text only. I usually like just plain old uh, unformatted text. Okay, so anyway, want to line this stuff up and highlight it accordingly. Refer back to the website to see how it's what what columns it's in, exam objectives, descriptions. So I'm just showing you what I do. You know, you're you're gonna develop, or excuse me, you'll you'll get started um, in the way that you see fit when you study, but I'm just showing you what I do. Juno security objects, identify concepts. Juno, okay, yeah, that was the title of the next one, and then I'll just move this up here. Let me look at that. Security object. Okay, zones, screens, addresses, and address books. And this is the starting of the next one. Security, yeah. Okay. Okay, and once you've got that all organized correctly as it is depicted on the website um, just to make it clear I'll usually you know make each section bold and I'll look what the current test number is go down here to exam details JN0-231 Put that up at the top, J, uh, JNCIA sec. Let me, uh, yeah, text only. There we go. And so I'll take all these exam objectives and I'll highlight them all, kind of make them smaller. It's just a table of contents for my file here, but then I'll paste them and then I will start to make my notes inside of each topic as I go through. All right. So this is this is where I'll say with notes. So as I go through here, you know, I'll if I learn about SRX interfaces, I'll put my notes there for that. SRX hardware, put my notes here. SRX initial configuration, I'll put it there. You know, and on and on I go. And I can always refer up here to the top as kind of like my exam objectives table of contents. Okay. Now, looking back at this, I want to bring something up here. 
So these exam objectives, they're, they describe them in, in a very terse, you know, simple, uh, abbreviated fashion. To what degree do I need to know interfaces? To what extent do I need to know about SRX hardware? Um, how much do I need to know about VSRX in a virtual environment? How much do I need to know about zones? You know, and so these questions may come uh, into your mind. Go up here to the recommended training. Go into this uh, class, IJSEC, that they recommend in preparing for JNCIA security. Go here and open up the uh, course flyer. All right. Go in here to the course flyer. Now, let's check this out. When you look at the objectives in the course, they're a little more descriptive about the bullets. And then when you go into the class, uh, day one, day two, uh, you know, what they're going to do in each day of the course, they may even get into a little more detail there. And you see it's a three-day course, okay? And they may even have some labs. Yeah, there we go. They uh, Here's some lab seven, lab eight, lab nine. So where did the labs start? Here they, here they are. They started up here on this page. Lab one, lab two. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to draw your attention to this. So the word describe means describe. <laughs> you don't need to know a whole lot about this. You, need, you just need to be able to describe it. Okay. Describe device features. Describe the initial and basic config. All right. Now, what do you need to configure? You need to be able to configure a security zone and a screen object. You need to be able to configure address and service objects. All right. Uh, here's something you need to be able to describe. IPS and, well, then you need to be able to implement an IPS policy. All right. Describe uh, unified threat management, antivirus and anti-spam. Okay, let's keep on going. You need to be able to implement NAT. You need to be able to implement a site-to-site -site IPsec VPN. Okay, so it, it's telling us what we need to be able to describe, what we need to be able to configure and implement. And as you go down through here, there are more, uh, you know, descriptions of the, some of the things that they're going to be doing in the class. So I'm kind of going through this as if you're doing a self-study. Okay, you are pursuing JNCIA SEC on your own, uh, doing your own self study, and you need to know to what extent do you need to be able to answer these questions on the exam. And I think this is a really good place to get insights into what Juniper is training towards and what, um, what the exam objectives are. All right, so that's, that's the angle I'm taking with this. Explain, explain. Well, here it says implement, okay? So don't just stop at being able to explain it. Uh, go ahead and try to implement it, all right? And it says in a virtual SRX. Okay, so you could copy these just like I did the other one. Uh, sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'll copy the objectives and put them in my own little, uh, like I showed you before. I'll put them in my Microsoft Word document see if I can grab those just as an example. You know, and maybe right before my notes, right under the table of contents of my objectives, uh, I might paste those course objectives also. So just a little more uh, direction on where I want to head during my training plan and pursuit of this certification. You know, as I go through hitting on all these objectives, I'll go back to, you know, if if I'm good with this, maybe I will make it green. I'm good to go there. You know, and maybe I'll keep all these red or white. Uh, but red, you know, red means it's stop, you know, it's a stop and green means it's a go. So maybe I'll just start off like this in my training uh, as I'm uh, going through all these objectives. And as I'm comfortable with these things, say, for instance, I'm really good on implementing security policies, I'll check that one off. 
And, you know, and so now I understand what percentage of the objectives I have gone through as I move through my study. Okay. Another thing I'll do as a quick reference is I will grab the links. Excuse me. Let me see where those are. I will get the links to these reference pages. Copy that. Go back to my document. And right above where I pasted those, I'll put that link there. So I can quickly go back to it during my course of study. So let me get rid of, of that. And so let me copy the uh, course objectives. And I'll go ahead and put that link here also. All right, just as a quick reference. So if I ever want to go back to it, just click on it and it opens right up. It opens right up. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, that's all I got for this uh, second video. And hopefully that's helpful in putting together a nice uh, plan that we can follow as we go through each objective and get comfortable with each one along the way. All right. Well, uh, if you're not a member of my channel already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I drop the next video, uh, particularly if you are pursuing JNCIA security, then you're going to want to know when I put out my next video. So go ahead and do that. And um, I'll see you in the next one.